dozens of memorable contestants in the history of weekday millionaire, Christy, Smith, and Castellano. We can now add the name of our returning contestant, the remarkable Tom Spencer. Hey, Karen, we can come on this Ohio. Now, yesterday, at the end of the show, you, you sort of took me to task. You pulled me aside and you said, I want to hear my music. What That's music right. were you I talking about? I got gypped about? yesterday because I didn't get the millionaire. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> the drama. Or well, drama. because yesterday you made it to a thousand and then the horn went off. Uh -huh. So we had to stop. You get that at the next question. Okay? Do you get but, that, Z? Uh, it's only at the time. We just ran out of time. We ran out of time. You're going to hear it in a minute. But I think okay. under the rules, I'm entitled to my doodle little loo. Under yes. the rules. No, under you, no. You're, you're going to get your doodle little loo. <laughs> in a minute. Okay. Can you hold out just for a minute and then we'll bring you the doodle loo? I think I should get an extra one. Double doodle loo because of penalty. <laughs> it's not my fault that you can't manage the time clock correctly. You're the coach. Tom, <laughs> you're getting one doodle little loo, all right? All right That's okay. it. Right. Now okay. listen, Tom. <laughs> you're at a thousand, okay? You've won a thousand. You are ten questions away from winning one million dollars, all right? Hey, why now, are the doodle loos on? Right. Doodle -loo. You have all your lifelines left. None of your marbles, but all of your lifelines are left. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. You got it. That's exactly. Who cares? I'm so long gone. You got your 50 50. Okay. Your phone a friend. And you can ask the audience, okay? And okay. if you get to the $25,000 level, and I'm still here, we're going to give you that switch the question lifeline. Okay. And today you're going to be leaving with one of these Capital One. I'm afraid to show you this. Oh, really? It's the Capital One okay. check for a million dollars. That looks good. That looks good. All right, Tom. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to play. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Here it comes, Tom. Let's play Millionaire. Oh. Well, you're not that excited now that you heard it. All right, yeah, okay. all right. Going for 2,000. But my question is blank. It's coming up. Okay. <laughs> Going for 2,000, Tom. What I do know. Okay is that you've got $25,000, which means you get that fourth lifeline, switch Ooh, the question. Yeah, like At this that. point, if you don't know the answer, we'll switch out of it, all right? Good. If you, yeah, very. Going for $50,000. Ready? Yeah. Calligrapher Jacob Shallus was paid $30 to pen what historic Let's document? Let's ask the audience. I don't know. You want to ask the audience? All right, audience, Tom needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Oh boy, okay. Our audience believes, 39% believe it's the Constitution. Let's see the OL is the messenger crowd. We've got 32% who say Gettysburg Address, then 27 for the Articles of Confederation. You know what, let's just switch out the question. You want to switch out? I don't blame you. You're, you're, yeah. you ready? Okay. Let's see what the correct answer was, see who was right here. The correct answer was the U.S. Constitution, oh, which our audience no. was correct. Uh, let's have the computer randomly switch out of this question for another one value of fifty thousand dollars. It's another fifty thousand dollar question, okay? In the sixteen hundreds, philosopher Blaise Pascal devised a famous wager concerning what issue? Age of the universe, honesty of mankind, superiority of men, belief in God. Oh, I know that one. I'm a philosophy student. D, final answer. I'm glad you switched out, Tom. You got it. Okay, Tom, we're all rooting for you. This is for $100,000. What weather term was coined in a 1939 dissertation by Antarctic explorer Paul Seipel? Let's use 50-50. Okay. Computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Let's call my girlfriend, Gail. I'm going to give this question to her. Oh, terrific. Okay, we're going to get Gail on the line. Hello? All right, Tom, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Good luck. All right, Gail. Yes? What weather term was coined in 1939 dissertation 
by the Antarctic explorer Paul Seipel. Was it wind chill or was it cold front? 17 seconds. Okay, wind chill or cold front. Um, Paul who? Paul Seipel, Antarctic explorer. Five seconds. Okay, I'm going to go with wind chill on that. Okay. I'm not uh, I'll sure. totally sure. Not totally sure. She said not totally uh, yeah, sure. Totally. Okay, we're gonna go with uh, what Gail. Going with the magic, Gail. What Gail says is is the, what I'm going with. C. Was that what she said? Right, she said windshield. Yes. <laughs> C. Final answer. She wasn't totally sure, but sure enough, you <laughs> have. Dr. Seuss's children's books, including The Cat in the Hat, are most commonly written in what type of verse? Trochaic pentameter, anapestic tetrameter, iambic tetrameter, dactylic hexameter. Excellent question. <laughs> no, I'm not a gambler. Uh, I don't know what the quest, I don't know what the answer is. So you don't I have, have a, a thought in your head. Well, that's then not a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> they all sound pretty good. Tro trochaic pentameter. That's probably pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> the dactylo hexameter. I don't know. But the cat and the hat. You know, they're great books. Yeah, they I are. I just don't great know the answer, so I'll have to go home. Oh. But I want a hundred thousand. Final. Oh, that's good. I want a hundred thousand. Is that is that is that your final, Tom? That's my final answer. Tom, you want $100,000. You sit there and enjoy it. It's anapestic tetrometer. If you still have $100,000, and that sound means that our time is up for today, but we'll be back tomorrow to hopefully find our next millionaire. Let's hear it for Tom from New York, everyone. Bye for now. Close captioning, sponsored by.